Hello friends, so welcome back to our session. So in the previous session we have seen the introduction to the number systems. So a computer memory can support a four number systems. So any, any number can be represented one among these four number systems. That is a decimal number system, next a binary, octal and hexadecimal. So in today's session we will go with the conversion. So how to convert a decimal to binary and a decimal to uh, octal and a decimal to hexadecimal. Right. We'll go with the number conversion. So in this, we'll see the conversion of decimal to binary. Similarly, decimal to octal decimal to hexadecimal. Right. So here in this binary, we have to repeatedly divide the number with binary. So here the binary is base 2. Here the octal is base 8. Here the octal hexadecimal is base 16. So number with 2 along with the remainder. Right? So repeatedly we have to divide the number with 2 considering so uh, not along with so considering the remainder right right now octal coming to this octal here also we have to do repeatedly divide the number with what is the base here 8 with 8 considering the remainder so we have to consider the remainder because the remainder itself is the answer right coming to this hexadecimal here also we have to repeatedly divide the number with 16 considering the reminder so that means here we have to divide with the corresponding base value the corresponding base value we have to divide it okay so if it is a binary conversion we have to convert it with the 2 I mean we have to divide the number with 2 and if it is an octal conversion we have to divide the number with 8 if it is a hexadecimal conversion we have to divide with 16 Right? So this is how we have to convert a decimal to uh, this uh, binary or octal or hexadecimal. Right. So binary means this uh, base 10. We know that. Base 10. Now we will see one by one. So how uh, a binary can be, I mean decimal can be converted to binary and then octal and hexadecimal. One by one. Let us see one by one with an example so that your doubts will be clarified everything will be clear right so first one decimal to binary decimal to binary see consider an example some one four one one forty one base ten so we know that if it is a base 10, this number is a decimal number. 
now we have to convert it into binary so what we have to do we have to divide that number with base of this conversion number so here we have to convert it into binary so we have to get the answer with base 2 so that means here we have to divide it so 141 divided by 2 so 2 7s are 14 and 0 what is the reminder 1 so just write on the reminder on the right hand side again so we know that we have we said that we have to do this process repeatedly so again 2 to 35s and again reminder 0 again 17 with a reminder 1 again 8 with a reminder 1 4 with a reminder 0 2 with a reminder 0 one time with a reminder zero so zero times one see we have to store all these things because this is the binary conversion so the last one is a lsb bit least significant bit this one is a most significant bit so we can write here so least significant bit so one zero 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 one one zero one is a binary equivalent of one forty one. So here we can write one zero 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 one one zero one. Right. So the last one is the least significant bit, and the first one is the most significant bit. So hope you understood this conversion. So just keep on dividing the number until it gives the result zero. Okay, so the last one, the last reminder will be the least significant bit and the first reminder will be the most significant bit. Okay, so hope you understood this one. Next, let us move with the another conversion. Sorry, so the last one will be the most significant bit. And the first one will be the least significant bit. Okay, so I just uh, uh, I said a mistake, so I'm extremely sorry. The last one will be the most significant bit, and the first first bit will be the least significant bit. Right now, let us convert the same thing to octal. What is the octal base? 8. So we have to divide this 141 with 8. Right? So 8 ones are 8. So 61, 56, 5 is the reminder. Right? Again, divided the read, continue the process, same process. So 8 twos are 16, the reminder is 1. 8 zeros the reminder 2 so automatically the number will be 2 1 5 octal representation octal representation see here the representation of octal number will be consisting of only 0 to 7 so this representation number we should not get the 8 as a result because it consists of only from 0 to 7 Right? So, keep on dividing the number with 8, we can get the reminders and all, considering all the reminders, we will get the octal representation of the given decimal number. Okay, right. Hope you understood this one. So, just divide the number with 2 and divide the number with 8. Now, coming to the next one that is... hexadecimal so how to convert this by same equivalent decimal equivalent to hexadecimal so what is the base base of the hexadecimal it is 16 it is a 16 now follow the same procedure so 141 
divided by 16 right so here it's around Sixteen eights, so eight to four, one twenty eight. So eights are one twenty eight. So it will be thirteen. The result will be thirteen. Reminder will be thirteen. Okay. Now again divide with zero. The remainder will be eight. So we know that in the hexadecimal format. 13 is represented with 13 is represented with D right so the equivalent hexadecimal value of this decimal value is 8D 8D this is the equivalent hexadecimal representation of the given decimal value so we the same process to be followed for all the conversions I mean from decimal to octal or decimal to binary or decimal to hexadecimal so we have to repeatedly divide the decimal number with the corresponding base value if if we want to convert into binary we have to repeatedly divide that number with two base two I mean two and store the reminder and the reminder will be the answer and if you want to convert it uh, uh, the decimal with a octal octal base is eight so divide the decimal number with 8 and store the reminder and if we want to convert the decimal value into hexadecimal the base value is 16 so divide that number with 16 and store the reminder finally the reminder will be the equivalent conversion representation the binary or uh, octal or hexadecimal right so this is a simple way to convert the decimal to any uh, decimal to other number systems right so let us stop here and uh, in the next session we'll go with this another conversion that means uh, binary to decimal binary to octal and a binary to hexadecimal okay so let us stop here so if you really understood my session like my session and if you are having any doubts regarding this session Feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that I will definitely try to clarify all your doubts. And uh, share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.